Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on indices and it is part 3 over 4 of the log series that I started a long time ago but never did finish. Today is part 3 over 4 and on the same day I should be uploading part 4 over 4 as well so remember to check that out after this one. I'll put a link in the description box below as well if I remember. And these are the three things that you should remember for indices. The first one, a to the power of 0 will be equals to 1. Second one, a to the power of negative n equals to 1 over a to the power of n. The third thing is a m over n. If you decided to put the square root, that is what it will look like. So the first example will be for concept A. So we have 3 to the power of 0, it will be equals to 1. And then we have the second thing, 2, 5, 6 to the power of 0, it will be equals to 1. Anything to the power of 0 will be equals to 1. And then the second example is 9 to the power of negative 2. If you decided to put 1 over 9, it will be positive 2. Negative 2 will be changed to positive 2 and you will get 1 over 81. So that is for B. And next, for C, we have this number 51 to the power of 5 over 2. So to change it, you are going to remain 51 and you are going to put a square root. And then the number at the top will take shelter under the roof. So we have 5. And then the number at the bottom will be outside. We have 2, but we don't write it because square root is already 2. So we have 5 laws of indices that you need to know before we proceed into indices questions. And this is somewhat similar to the laws of logarithms. So the first one is that am times an equals to a to the power of m plus n. The second one am divided by an equals to a to the power of n minus n. And then number 3, am bracket n equals to a to the power of m times n. Number 4, am times bm equals to a times b bracket m. Number 5, am divided by bm equals to a over bm. Don't worry if the loss of indices seems overwhelming to you now because next I'll be using some examples to show you which law applies to which question. So the first example is actually a partial question from SPM 2009 and here is the question. So the first thing to do when you come across indices question is you're going to identify the common multiple of all these numbers and from what I see the common multiple here will be 3. So you're going to change everything to base 3. But first of all, you're going to remove the square root and change it to 1 over 2 because that simplifies things. So now you're going to change everything to base 3. 9 is 3 square, so you're going to write that. And then 27 is 3 cubed, 9 is 3 square. You're just going to change everything to the multiple of 3. And now what I see here is that 1 over 2 and 2, you can cut it off. So you're going to be left with only 3 to the power of 2x. And then the next step here involves law number 3 which is that a m bracket n equals to a m times n. So as you can see where I put the arrows, I'm going to expand it. So we have 3 2 minus 2x. So that is using law number 3. And then the next step involves law 1 which is that am times a n equals to a m plus n. So the front part of it, I'm going to copy down. But for the back part, we'll only be left with 1, 3. And then the rest, you're going to get 3 plus 2 minus 2x. And now that 3 is the same, we can just compare the bases. And you can easily find x, which is... 5 over 4. That is your final answer. So if you didn't understand the previous example, don't worry. We'll just go through another example but more slowly this time. So hopefully you understand. And for this example, 4 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 2 over 32 
x minus 5. And as I said before, the first thing that you have to do for indices question is you have to identify the common multiple. So for 4, 2 and 32, you can see that the common multiple is 2 over here. So we're going to change everything to the multiple of 2. Okay, so 4 equals to 2 square. So you're going to write that down. 2 square bracket x minus 2. And then 32 equals to 2 to the power of 5. And if you don't know how to change 32 to 2 to the power of something, you can just type into the calculator 2 to the, to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, and then when you type in 2 to the power of 5, you will get 32. So that is how you know. And then the next step is going to require law number 3 of indices. And the third law of indices is that A m bracket n equals to a m times n that is the third law of indices and we're going to apply that for the next step so you're going to expand 2 will be multiplied by x and 2 will be multiplied by negative 2 as well so you're going to get a new equation so 2 2x minus 4 equals to 2 over 2 5x minus 25 and the next step requires the second important thing for indices that I mentioned before so I'm just flipping over to that page the second important thing is that a negative n equals to 1 over a n okay so you are going to change the base to positive and that is used to bring 2 to the power of 5x negative minus 25 to the top so as you can see later 5x will become negative 5x and 25 will become positive 25 because you are going to reverse the signs so 2 2x minus 4 equals to 2, 1 and then times 2, 5x will be changed to negative 5x negative 25 will be changed to positive 25 so now that all is under base 2 you can just compare the powers so you have 2x minus 4 equals to 1 minus 5x plus 25 so you shift all the x to one side numbers to another side and you can find the value of x and from here the value of x is 30 over 7 and that is your final answer for the next part of today's video we are going to go through the two types of popular indices questions in SPM the first type will be to solve for x and the second type will be also to solve for x but with the use of logarithm. So I'm going to use the first example to show for the solve for x type of popular indices question in SPM and this is actually a past year question from SPM 2004. The question is 27 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals to 9 to the power of 4x solve for x. And as I have said it before, and I will repeat it again because it's important. The first thing that you do when you come across indices question is to identify the common multiple. So when you see 27 and 9, it should pop up in your head that the common multiple here is 3. So instead of writing 27, you're going to write 3 cubed, 2x minus 1. And instead of writing 9, you're going to write 3 square, 4x. And now you're going to apply the third law of indices which is that a m bracket n equals to a m times n. You are going to apply this law of indices to the next step.
and so by using this law you're going to expand 3 3 bracket 2x minus 1 so you're going to take 3 multiplied by 2x and then 3 multiplied by negative 1 so you're going to get 3 6x minus 3 equals to 3 8x and now that you have the same base 3 and 3 you can simply compare to the power of these two so you're going to bring x to one side numbers to the other side and you will be left with x equals to negative 3 over 2 that will be your final answer The second type of popular indices question in SPM is to solve for x but with the use of logarithm. So this question is actually a past year from SPM 2011. So we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 8 equals to 3 to the power of 2x plus 1. The first thing that you do when you come across an equation like this is to bring all the common things to one side. So number you have to bring to one side and number with power you are going to bring to another side. So the only number here is 8. So you are going to bring it over to the right hand side of the equation. And you are going to bring 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 to the left hand side of the equation. So naturally when you change the position, you have the change of signs. And so you will be left with this second row. And the next thing that you want to do is you need to bring out the common multiple. So when you look at this equation, you can identify that the common thing that appears here is 3 to the power of 2x. So you're going to factorize it by bringing out 3 to the power of 2x. So once you bring out 3 to the power of 2x, you'll be left with only 1 and then you'll be left with 3 to the power of 1 which is 3. So you're going to write that down and equals to negative 8. Now you're going to solve for 1 minus 3 first and copy down exactly. Now you're going to bring all the numbers to one side again. So 3, 2x equals to negative 8 divided by negative 2 equals to 4. And once you have reached this step, this is when you have to use logarithm. You have to log both sides. Otherwise, there is no way to solve this thing. The only way is to log both sides of this equation. So you're going to put log in front of 3, 2x and log in front of 4. And now by applying one of the laws of logarithm that I mentioned in one of my videos, you're going to bring 2x to the front. So you will have 2x log 10 3 equals to log 10 4. And the reason why we change everything to base 10 is the fact that it is the base in the calculator. So you can get the exact value if you change everything to base 10. So 2x, now you're going to factorize out x and so you can categorize all the numbers into 1. Now you can find x by dividing log 10 x with 2 log 10 3. And your final answer should be in 4 decimal places. So you will get 0 0.6309. That is your final answer. That is all for indices. I hope that you can understand indices a bit more with today's video. And part 4 over 4 will be on the more challenging log questions. And I will be repeating back the laws of logarithm and the important things to remember briefly before going into the more challenging questions. So if you think that you are still unsure about logarithm, then make sure that you go watch part 4 over 4.
I'll leave a link to the part 4 of a 4 vlog down below so make sure to go check that out and I'll see you guys in my next video.